I finally finished my TikTok. This is like my dream. So that's why my sheep aren't outside. Two to three inches apart, two inches deep, twin rows. Our Google Garden. That ended up being a much busier day than I anticipated. Good morning, it's Saturday and I have a day off. It's gonna be spent probably doing stuff inside, but this morning I am on the road. I'd like to pick up, I got some lambs processed last week and I think they're ready to get picked up. I sold four lambs to other people. I'm gonna probably pick up my friends. I'll have to text her. I'll have to call her or text her before I leave um, to see what she wants to do. If she wants to pick it up in my freezer or just pick it up at, at, the, uh, at the abattoir. So I have to do that. I also am getting, my hairdresser's leaving me out some hair color. So Jess is going to have to perform some magic on my hair today. I don't know if I'm brave enough to put that on YouTube, but we will see how the day progresses. I do want to check in on the barn eventually to make sure there's no new lambs and to let those other lambs out today that were born two days ago. And then see if my garden is dried up and stake it out and figure out what we're planting where. And then I could probably Google the rest as to spacing and how to do all that stuff. Or I could just ask you guys because you know way more than me on gardens. Oh, I do love this little, this little Mazda Jax. It's a sweet little ride. CX-5, easy to park. I just remembered also that today is grocery day. So I'm hoping while I'm on the road, I get a call from them saying my order is ready. But it wasn't supposed to be ready till this afternoon, but sometimes they're early. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is like my dream. If I could have like rotational pasture like that and then have a really nice, they have a really nice barn they built not too long after us. And then they have their sheep outside. Now they're right on a highway and there's no really woodlot around there. So I think that's how they can get away with it. They just don't have the coyote pressure. So that would be a dream if I could do that. Um, we we just live in a different type of area. Like he's got no woodlot around there. He's right on a major highway. So I just don't think coyote pressure would be as big right there um, because I've never seen a livestock guardian dog in there even. I don't know you guys. I'd love to have my sheep outside, but I literally have seen, I've seen a coyote not 50 yards just to the north of the barn. So, I don't know, but that's why my sheep stay inside. That's a, that's a question I always get asked. Why don't your sheep go outside? Um, if I can get that barn renovated across the road, then perhaps I can put my replacement ewes or maybe rams over there in that barn and then they'd have access to that little pasture. But I have seen a coyote in that pasture. So I'm just really, really nervous. Um, the only way I would put them out there is bringing them in every night, which is definitely doable. But So that's why my sheep aren't outside. Would I love to see them outside and frolicking on the grass? Absolutely. It's just, I also would rather them s stay safe and alive because a dead sheep doesn't really do me much good. Just picked up my hair color and uh, I have to say, I'm pretty excited and had a really good chat with my hairdresser. You know, I look at that woman and she works six days a week cutting hair and coloring hair and she does weddings on her days off and she is just one of the busiest women I know. And I look at her and, you know, even just putting kits together for us, I know a lot of hairdressers are getting creative and going online and and doing things like that they're making it work and I'm just I'm proud of her and I know it's tough when you've done the same thing the same way for probably 30 plus years it's tough to change gears and do some of do some of these things differently so I said to her I'm gonna get Jess to try and do it and I said if we have any problems we'll FaceTime her and she can coach her through it so we have the technology to make this stuff work and get through this, but I do feel sorry for our service providers that, you know, the only self 
care thing I do is my hair. I don't do nails, I don't do massages. So my hair time with Joanne is just, it's very special to me. It's kind of therapy. I'm gonna go get my meat. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm just pulling into my butcher shop right here. Hopefully they're open, I see a vehicle. That was really cool. So I picked up my meat, had a good talk with Justin, he's my butcher, and uh, really nice guy, sweet little family in there. And uh, he said the meat inspector was in this week and while he was processing my lamb. And he said, oh, who's, who's okay, whose lamb is this? And he said, oh, Sandy Brock. And the meat inspector said, oh, I follow her on YouTube, so he watches my videos, so. Hello, my meat inspector, I hope it was okay. Uh, the lamb, he does such a good job. It's all, I'll, sh I'll show you when I, uh, when I get home and I put it in the freezer. Okay, mine my freezer, but this is some of the stuff that I picked up today from my uh, butcher shop. So, lamb chops. Um, I love how he does these and wraps them up, so nice. Uh, rack of lamb, we get them like done, French rack, French, I think that's called a French, uh, what's that called? French rack, rack of lamb, we also got some shanks done, I'm not a big shank lover, but they're a very popular thing, people are always asking for shanks, and then of course I always get uh, a couple leg of lamb roasts. And then this time, instead of getting shoulders, usually with my shoulder roast, I'm not a big shoulder roast lover, and I usually get it diced up and make shish kebabs in the summer and stew in the winter, so I usually get the shoulders done into um, diced. But this time I got them made into like little shoulder chops or shoulder steaks. So they're not, not, not as nice as the, the lamb chops, but at least it's, you know, I can throw those on the barbecue when we're in a in a rush. And I always get them in these packs, in these vac sealed packs, because I like to thaw, um, I never thinking ahead, so I like to put it in hot water to thaw out. So that's basically all I got. Um, all my ground went to the guy that wants it for his store. So I would have had 14 more pounds of ground with all this stuff, so. I just kind of do the cuts I know we will eat, and then the rest I'll either put into ground or put into sausage. But I had a ton of sausage still left from my last, from my last animals I got done. So, so we do eat our own lamb, and they do an amazing job. And it did take a while to get in, so I'm glad I got my name in when I did. So yeah, our freezer is getting very bare. I don't know about anybody else's freezers. Hi guys, it's me again. I'm back at it with, I don't know, I'm just back. Okay, so I'm currently in the tractor. We're rolling today. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what to say, but we're rolling. And I'm the farm across from the house, like our home farm. And yeah, I just started like a few minutes ago. I took over from dad he showed me he got like uploads and stuff done for me because I don't really know how to do that. Um so now I'm just doing the rest of the field. So that's our little can you even see that? So that's how much we've done just that much and the headlands. So yeah. Okay I'm about to turn so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back going again I've just turned and yeah so this is our little GPS system. Um, and it showed the green is everything we've done already. Here, I'll change the. So that's everything we've done already. Um, see that? I'm the little arrow dude, so we haven't done too much so far. Um, that's where we are right now. It's really hard to see the screen. I'm sorry about that. But we're going at 1800, around 1800 RPMs, so rotation per minute. And yeah, that's literally all I know. <laughs> so I was reading the comments on the video that I did like a little Q and A thing in, which I in that video I was cultivating. And someone was wondering uh, if we have auto steer or like why we don't ever have our hands on the steering wheel. And to answer the question, we do have auto steer. Um, yeah, it pretty much. 
bus just drives itself in lines, so um, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is turn. Um, this is our little auto steer button right there. Um, yeah, so we just click that, and then it will line up to this red line. If you can see that, probably not. Um, and then it just drives in a straight line, and then we just turn. So yeah, it's pretty easy to do, and I like that about it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else there is really to say. It's very gloomy. It was supposed to be nice and sunny, and I was really excited, but now it's just sad. So I'm just going to do this for like probably the next few hours, and I'll check back in if anything interesting happens, but until then, I'm gonna listen to some music and I can't get copyrighted so we're not gonna show that. I'm currently trying to figure out how to learn this freaking TikTok dance. It's like one of the easiest ones and I just can't figure out how to do it. Like I know how to, I know the moves. I just cannot do it at the right time. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. I have all that done and now I just have to get this half done. So I'm like right about halfway. TikTok time. <laughs> Follow me on TikTok. Okay, five million attempts later, I finally finished my TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok if you want to see it. I think my account name is JessBrock7. I'll like pop it on the screen. I'll tell mom to pop it on the screen. I have a few TikToks with mom too, so go follow me there. Not too much longer ago. Um, and yeah. Okay guys, I have finished this field. Um, as you see, it's all green now. I'm just gonna fold up the roller and I turned off tracking already so it won't like follow me down the road because that's not the field, obviously. And soon it'll like pop up and say cancel event and I'll do that too because the event is the field and it's done. So fold this up. I think it's remote one. I was never told. Remote one. Okay, wait. Mm, doesn't he like lift it up first? I don't really know how to do this. What does two do? Oh, nothing. Okay, so it's obviously remote one. All right, cool. Oh, crap, I'm going the wrong way. God, I'm stupid. Now it's up. Um, I'm just gonna go put in those pins so it's safe to like, it's in road mode so it won't fall, which it won't anyways, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Those are the pins I was talking about. There's one on each side and then there's a pin in the middle that has to go. I don't know yet. We'll figure that one out. Yeah, so this one comes out here and it goes over here. So then the bar will stay up. That one I'm not 100% sure about yet. Maybe right there? I don't freaking know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, so the roller is all good. It's all locked up and ready to go. So now we're gonna go back home, which is right there. <laughs> it's a very long drive. Well, Murphy's Law. I just got Mark cornered to help me stake out the garden, which we got it staked out. It is so windy. Back on the road, on my way to town again. Drove right by it this morning and uh, gotta go pick up those groceries. But I will be the most popular person in my house tonight. Two to three, I think it said. Two to three inches apart. Two inches deep. Twin rows. the 
carrots. Did you learn this on Google? Or your dad? Google. Google. We are covering the carrots with boards so the soil doesn't dry out. And your dad did this with his kale, he said. Yeah, small seeded stuff. Yeah, dries out. So we found these old fence boards. We made a fence when the kids were little and we had an extra skid. So they came in handy finally. Potatoes. This is our second row. So he spent all afternoon while I was getting groceries and whatnot, staking everything out. It's probably really windy. Okay, so we have, I have to go down here because it's windy. Onions, potatoes, uh, under the boards is carrots, and past that are peas. This is our lettuce, and then I think we're saving the rest for our beans. We're gonna plant them later. And then, or maybe beet, beets, right? We're gonna do beets, then the beans. And then this last row we're going to save for peppers, tomatoes. We have to get those plants still. And then over here will be our big squash patch. But we're going to wait for some of that for some more heat. So we did that in pretty good time. Mind you, you you've been probably working at this all afternoon. Uh, not really. Our Google garden. If a farmer can't grow a garden, we're in trouble. <laughs> Well, it, nothing's up yet there, honey. I did try to stay out of the barn today. It's seven o'clock. I thought I would, uh, there was a lamb that was limping in the bottle baby pen, and I think it's got some joint ill. That's my first one I've seen this whole flock, knock on wood. So I've been treating it the last couple days, um, and I wanna let those lambs out. It's been all day, I was trying to do that earlier. Hey buddy. Wow. It was windy in here today. <laughs> that was goats. You're so cute. Hi hey buddy. Hi guys, you guys want to let out? I think I'll let you out. Those two lambs are still really little. And they seem hungry. Hmm. I might try to feed them a bottle still. Alright mama, let you out. Yeah, let's let you out. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on. Come on. Follow mom. That's it. Follow mom. Come on. Come on. That's it. Just gonna leave this up in case we have another lamb born, hopefully. Oh, here we go. Fightsy, fightsy. Okay, I'm gonna get a bottle. That ended up being a much busier day than I anticipated. I really got nothing done in the house like I had hoped. 
But I did pick up my lamb and I got it delivered and I got my hair coloring. I still have to get it done, maybe tonight with Jess. I'm gonna feed this lamb a bottle and then I'm running and I'm starving. I haven't ate since breakfast, I think. I'm starving. So, see you guys tomorrow. This is so much. I know. You mean gray hair? No, I mean hair. <laughs> that is gray. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm the one that. Like, You're doing good, yeah. actually. Thanks. What can I say? It's gonna be a hair yourself. So. <laughs> Side hustle. I realized you have to do people's hair. I was like, oh, I guess I can't really do that. Okay.